right, hi there. Um, I suppose how to make almost anything class. Today we're gonna go over making a t-shirt and using the Roland Versa Works machine. So this is our Roland vinyl cutter and printer. It's approximately six feet long. It prints and cuts vinyl, uh, different types of vinyl that are in there. Um, we're gonna take a look up here. It's not really telling us anything at the time. I have to set this sheet up and that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna walk over here. This is the type of vinyl that we're gonna use today. This is called, um, it's heat transfer tape. So, or not tape, vinyl, I mean. So it can go on shirts. Like you'll see the one that I'm wearing today with my cons construction crew right here. We made that in here, all right? First things first, we gotta load up our vinyl. So in order to do that, we're getting down to the wire here. You can place it in this roll. place. I'm going to move you a little bit closer so you can kind of see what's happening here. All right. Um, you got to take whatever type of vinyl that it is we're going to use and you'll lift this up and up and you can slide it in and then lock it into place. Okay. Once it loads this paper, it's probably going to tell us to do something. Let's see here. This little part always tells us what it is we need to do. And it's just setting up. And so the next step is to take our PDF that we saved with our Roland Versa Works contour lines, which don't cut all the way through, but they're going to cut the stickers out and place it in. We've got two um, spots to put this. So step one, if this is done, that easy. It'll take a second to open here. Once open, we'll go to file right here. And I'm gonna say add to QB this time. So I wanna find my removable disc. We've got cat NL, that's one. And we can do one at a time. So I can double click it and it's in. We'll add to QB and we'll keep going. Um, as you can see, we're in A, so I'm gonna quit, switch to B. All right, I'm gonna delete this one. I don't need that one. Yes. So now what we need to see what they look like. Once they're all pulled in, we're gonna nest these together. So I can control shift all the way down and click job nest. That brings them all together. So all, the, all, all of the shirts that we want to do together, because that works best, we'll click this first question mark. I can see all of those red lines blinking. What that means is those are cut lines. So I still have two on there I need to delete. <laughs> you always want to check media width, um, because if you put in a spare piece, it might not work so great. So, all right, say okay. Next thing we're going to render it. So it's sending it over to the printer. That takes a minute or two. All right, that looks like it's rendered and we're ready to print. So I can press the print button, which is right over from the bottom on the right and let it rock and roll. Once your image has printed, uh, go ahead and cut around the boundaries. And I take a tweezers, it really seems to help. And peel away carefully the excess material, only leaving what you want on your t-shirt. Once all excess material is gone, go ahead and grab your clear transfer tape. Cut the transfer tape material to fit your sticker, your decal, and cut around it. You're gonna peel up the plastic clear transfer tape, place your image on the inside, and use a small squeegee to secure the clear 
tape on your image so there are no bubbles. At this point, the heat press should already be on. It's 400 degrees, which is extremely hot, so be careful. And go ahead and peel the plastic off with your image stuck to the front of that um, high heat transfer tape. Place both images or wording on the t-shirt how you would like. I lay it flat and often put a t-shirt on over that just to, um, just like as a buffer. Go ahead and remove your t-shirt and peel off the top plastic piece. And sometimes I just press on for another 30 seconds. Voila, there's your t-shirt.